Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing this summer no makeup makeup look, model look. There's so many th things that this look can be, but yeah, if you like this look, continue watching. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with some moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I use. So I have like medium to oily skin and I just kind of put a light layer. For whatever reason, I know a lot of people don't do this, but for me, I don't put like, I don't do my entire skincare routine before my makeup because I just feel like with all the serums and the oils, it kind of just slips off. So I just kind of go in just with my daily moisturizer and a lip balm because my lips are dry. And as far as like foundation, I just feel like it lays much better when you have just moisturizer on. Anything else, it can kind of like just sit on your skin. So we're not doing that. And then the lip balm that I'm using is the Laneige. I feel like my lips are always dry during my vlogs. I probably should just carry this around with me, but you have to put it on with your fingers or like they have like a little spoolie and it's just not really practical when you're on the go. So maybe they should come out with like a stick or something. I don't know. Okay, so next would be brows. Mine are microbladed. Um, as you guys can see, they're pretty dark, um, but I like it like that. That's just my vibe. Um, and for this type of makeup look, honestly, you really don't want to fold your brows too, too much anyways. You kind of just want to just push them up like so. And all the products will be listed down below. So if you have any questions about what I'm using, it's just down below, baby girl. So the next step would be foundation. Um, for foundation today, we're gonna be using the new Fenty, what is this, the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. This is very new. Um, I decided to pick it up because everybody's been talking about it. I've been hearing mixed reviews about it. So I guess this would be like my review today. I don't know. I never used this foundation, but I picked up the color 12. So hopefully it works, but if not, then I have plenty of other foundations to um, mix it with. It's not a make or break. I'm going to kind of put it on since it's in a squeeze. And then take a beauty blender and kind of just bring it everywhere. I think the shade is good for me. They didn't have that many shades to pick from, but I just kind of went with what they had. I don't know. And I refuse to get matched by anybody in Sephora because no shade to the Sephora workers, but y'all do not know how to match foundation shades. So, but I'm just stippling this on like so. I like this foundation. I think it's cute. That's a beauty mark, so I'm kind of leaving that there. I like it. What do y'all think? Don't forget your ears, especially if you're wearing them out. And below. I like it. I've been hearing mixed reviews, but I feel like it, it does what it says it's gonna do. Oh, and right now I'm using some concealer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, concealer it's been my go-to for a while for work because I am lighter right now I'm not as golden as I would like to be but it's because I haven't gotten any Sun yet for the year I go on a trip in two weeks so I'm excited for that I think I'm gonna vlog that entire trip So for powder today, I'm going to be using the um, Veil Hourglass. Oh, I don't know, they don't really have too much going on with this packaging. 
but this um, is a more like high-end I would say setting powder and it has like a sheer kind of glow to it so it's not super matte what I recommend when you're not looking for a super full coverage look this is more like a sheer coverage kind of look if that makes sense and I'm just gonna lightly bake these under eyes So as you can see, like it's just doing what it needs to do. It's not like changing the color too much. It's just kind of really setting underneath, settling in where I put that concealer. And it's not like super, super intense. Bronze up the skin a little bit, and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is the only one that doesn't, I feel like, chunk up, and I use it for contour as well, so, but it's a bronzer. I think this is three tan deep, and obviously I use it a lot. It has a freaking hole in it, <laughs> but it's just one of my favorites, and I just take like a big brush like this. This is the Milk brush. They don't even sell these. I know it's like a, um, it's discontinued, so sorry about that. But any fluffy brush will do. You don't want to take a precise brush when you're doing like a, a no makeup makeup look because it's supposed to look more effortless rather than a bunch of like harsh lines all over. Okay, so the next step is blush. So today I'm gonna go with Kylie's Rosy Blush. Um, honestly, I would typically go for more of like a peachy blush, but um, I just don't have one for whatever reason i just don't have one i honestly should go pick one up i think nars orgasm would do good or like um who has a really good one mac has a really good peachy one so yeah i'm just gonna put in this here blush is my favorite step sometimes i go crazy with it sometimes like i behave it really depends i put a little bit on my nose I don't really do too much. I think that's kind of like as far as I'll go with it. And then like with my skin being like a little textured, I just find that it kind of brings out the textureness. The textureness, I don't know if that's a word, but it just kind of sometimes highlighter does that. Just brings out like a little bit of texture in the skin and I don't like it. But that's good. Okay, so the next step is eyes. You can definitely skip eyes if you want, but I just feel like I want to put eyes on. I don't know. But this is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. It's kind of like all these things on it. And typically, like what I normally do, I can you can just really take your contour shade and do this, but I just really wanted to dip into this palette. And you can just put them in now. We're just gonna curl my eyelashes. I think curling your eyelashes makes the biggest difference at first. Could y'all believe that I just started curling my eyelashes? I think like last year. Because typically like I have eyelash extensions, but um, I'm taking a break because I wanna have, like look at the difference from me just curling them. Curled eyelashes, no curled eyelashes. That is insane. I'm just gonna curl them one more time. But it could be intimidating to curl your eyelashes because I mean you can like go wrong really quick but I took like three months off of um, no eyelash extensions because I was just really stressed in the beginning of the year and my eyelashes were just falling out like planning a wedding building a home together and then working on like this other project for work has just been having me so stressed so I, all my eyelashes are falling out, my hair was falling out, my body just knows like when I'm stressed. Okay, this is the Lancome um, Hypnose Drama Waterproof. And I'm obsessed with this. I mean, just like look, just watch what happens. Like it's just insane.
I mean, that is just crazy. Like, hypnos. If you're coming through, I got a little bit right there, but I'll wait till it dries to get it off. But I mean, I'm obsessed with this mascara. And then I'm just gonna overline like in the middle. And the combo that I'm using with that, I'm gonna use Penelope Pink from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna put it in the middle. This is the classic Kim gloss. Blend it all in together with your finger. So that is the end of the tutorial. Please let me know if you guys liked the video down in the comments. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It helps me a ton now that I'm getting into this um youtube world so definitely show you girls some love so i could eventually make this my job and i can spend more time with y'all and so on and so forth but yeah i'll see you guys next week bye